In this video, I plan to tell you what and how I plan to film my trip to South America. So if you have nothing to do, grab your favorite drink and stay with me. Welcome back. As you already know, I film my trips and this one is not going to be an exception. I plan to film everything from the beginning until the end with all good and bad moments and now I will have a riding partner, Plamen, so we might have a little bit different perspective because he also planned to bring one camera with us. But all this footage or this video episodes that I'm going to make about the trip will be available on YouTube only when we come back home safe in one piece, which is mean on some stage next year. The idea of my videos is to show you a specific part of the world as it is. No fancy editing or epic music, nothing like that. It is just the reality as it is. And uh, it will be more or less like a documentary style of films with a lot of information. And I really hope that this information eventually will help to someone who plans to travel in the same direction. The main camera is going to be DJI Osmo Action 4 and I'm gonna film everything on 1080p. And I will store all the footage on SD cards until I get back home where I can download it on the computer and edit it. I know that uh, you'll suggest me to film on uh, 4K or at least 2K to have a better footage, but this will require a lot of storage space. So now at the moment I have to carry around 30, maybe a little bit more SD cards just to be able to capture all the footage for this three months on it. And uh, because I don't carry computer, I don't have, uh, I don't want to carry computer, so I don't have any storage like a hard drive or something like that to download the, the footage. So everything will stay on the SD cards until I come back. So um, many travelers like me record their footage on 4K. They even upload. They edit it while, while they travel and edit it and upload it on, on YouTube like two, three times per week. And their videos are more like a uh, lifetime with a little delay, but I'm not going to do it. So I will edit it and upload everything only when I get back home. And on this trip, I'm going to have another one camera on my friend and riding partner at the moment, uh, Plumman's uh, helmet. And we're going to have a little bit different point of view from his, from his helmet. And I will try to implement all of these videos in the, all of this footage in the videos. But it will be again once when we come back. So I understand that you will prefer to have something else, but this requires a lot of work, computer with me and, and many, many hours of editing. But now I prefer to focus on the trip, to enjoy the trip, to see everything that I plan to see and the videos are coming on the second stage. So as I said before, we'll focus mostly on the documental and informational part that eventually will help someone who plans to travel in the same direction. So if you expect to watch some super exciting and adventurous or epic movies, it will be better to find and watch something else. But from an informational point of view, I don't think that you'll be able to find a better alternative. Because we're not going to carry drone with us, I will highly appreciate if anyone of you who already been in uh, South America and have drone footage from there is happy to share it with me. I will implement this footage in my videos in the specific places where it was filmed, if I'm going there, of course, and uh, I will uh, credit it to you in uh, the video description. So I will put all of your details, um, YouTube channel, if you have Facebook page or whatever. So this will help a lot to provide a better point of view, especially this massive scale of the places that we plan to travel. So. Uh, all future viewers of the, of the episodes will have a better idea how big and massive and, and great this part of the world is. So as I said, if you want to do it, please contact me. I'll leave it in the link in the description below and we'll organize the transfer.
As usual, I'll try to upload at least two, three times per week short, non-edited updates where we are at the moment, what is our progress, how everything is going, and so on and so on. But once again, they will be very short and non-edited, which is mean that I'll press the button of the camera, film something, then turn it off, and that's it, uploaded on YouTube. I'll also upload a, a short uh, videos on my new TikTok account and it might be also interesting for some of you so the links will be in the description down below once again i would like to thank each and every one of you who already donated money for my trip a very special thanks to a, a gentleman who sent me a serious amount of money a few days ago and even though i asked him to provide his names because i want to put it in the uh, supporters uh, list he didn't do it so thank you very much all of this help is highly appreciated and everything every penny of it will be reinvested back into the channel that's everything for today guys i hope that it gave you some information press like or dislike whatever the video deserves if you subscribe even better see you in the next one